In this Mac video training podcast from the MacU.com, we're going to go over how to use PhotoStream with iPhoto 11 on your Mac. First, I want to quickly go over what you need to do to get PhotoStream working. You need to have an iCloud account activated with Apple. If you don't have one, you can create a new Apple ID or enter one you already have here in the iCloud System Preference pane. In the list of iCloud services, make sure PhotoStream is checked. You also need to do this on your iOS device. Go into the Settings app on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, and then to the iCloud section. From here, you can turn PhotoStream on. Then you just need to make sure that you have the latest version of iPhoto installed on your Mac running OS X Lion. If you have all that set, you are ready to use PhotoStream. Here in iPhoto, I now have PhotoStream listed under the Recent section. The images in here are all the photos I've taken on my phone or iPad since I started using PhotoStream. Also included are any screenshots taken on an iOS device, and images that I have downloaded from the web or email. Basically, any image you save to your iOS device is automatically published to PhotoStream, which is then represented here in this iPhoto library. PhotoStream stores your last 1,000 images, and for better or worse, there is no way to delete images from your PhotoStream. Even if you delete the image from the device it was taken on, it still remains in PhotoStream. This is why there's sort of a hodgepodge of images in my PhotoStream right now. Next, I'm going to just take a couple photos with my iPhone and see how quickly they appear in my PhotoStream and iPhoto. Okay, so I took two photos of a baseball here on my desk. Within about a minute or minute and a half, they are available in PhotoStream. I didn't have to do anything on my phone other than take the pictures. I didn't have to hit an upload button or plug the phone into my Mac to download them. Once they were taken, they were automatically uploaded to PhotoStream. So now I can select these two photos and import them as an iPhoto event. Now these two photos are being stored on my Mac, as well as in PhotoStream on the iCloud servers. These two photos will reside in PhotoStream until I take a thousand more, or Apple introduces a way to delete images from PhotoStream. So that's a quick look at how PhotoStream works with iPhoto on your Mac. If you'd like to learn more about iPhoto 11 or Mac OS X Lion, Take a look at our Mac training apps available on the MacU.com or the Mac App Store. Thanks for watching.